Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make uh, uh, a plugin on Cinema 4D called IV plugin uh, to make such a beautiful uh, wall wallpaper or whatever uh, for your desktop or I don't know. So uh, 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 we will be creating this on Cinema 4D with a plugin that I'm gonna be including link in the description to download it it's free uh, so uh, yeah so uh, this is the project file let's actually remove everything except for the uh, Lightroom uh, also you are I'm gonna be including link to this Lightroom on the uh, description so uh, after you guys downloaded Lightroom and the plugin and everything let's go to tutorial so let's first add a text let's go to MoGraph and then choose my uh, let's go to object and change the text to uh, uh, let's actually leave it text let's uh, change the uh, font to salon taste I'm gonna be uh, including link to download this in the description also so uh, let's uh, zoom in let's actually uh, make the depth to uh, 60 it looks bold and cool so uh, let's uh, change the start cap to fill cap as well as the end cap so fill cap let's change the radius to 1 and these steps also gonna be uh, 1 for both uh, start and end so uh, uh, let's make our interactive render region to see what we have. Uh, okay, this is looking pretty good. Let's make it bigger. Let's see. Yep. Uh, it looks uh, like uh, what we want. So uh, let's remove the render region to uh, like work. So let's uh, drag the text up a little bit. Let's actually use this to uh, see. Uh, I think it's uh, it's really cool. Just make it uh, like just above the um, the ground. So let's uh, under that uh, review once again. Okay, this is looking uh, awesome. So let's add a material. Uh, let's create a new material. Uh, let's uh, make the color white. Let's make reflection checked and change the texture to, fren to Fresnel. Let's uh, decrease the brightness and the uh, mix strength. And something like 40, 50, or whatever. Uh, the point is the material is reflected that's all so let's drag it to the text object yeah it looks uh, much better I guess so next thing I'm gonna add the leaves I uh, go let's first uh, delete this interactive generation let's go to the uh, plugin and then choose IV grower uh, this panel should shows up uh, and by having the mode text uh, uh, object highlighted let's double click on an area on the text list uh, let's actually make it above the, above the text by double clicking and then by uh, going to the Grover IV Grover plugin let's go to the growth panel and click grow IV double click on some other area and then start again so uh, let's stop it I think it's just, uh, enough let's um, go to the birth panel and then give birth and there you go you got 
the um, leaves that you want on the area that you want let's uh, add some more in here between the E and the X uh, it should be some other text but uh, I'm just gonna stick with text so you can just uh, change it so anyway uh, let's go to go IV again Now let's stop it here and then give birth again so uh, if you're comfortable with this you can re just render it right now let's uh, let me actually put some on the ground uh, like somewhere around here go to growth growth IV stop it and then give birth again uh, anyway it, it looks uh, really uh, uh, not what I expected but something really cool so uh, uh, let's render this real quick and see what we should get uh, actually let's go back to the render settings uh, 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 make sure you a path for the output file uh, and format I'm gonna be using JPEG uh, let's uh, go to the global illumination and in the irradiance cache let's uh, make sure both uh, uh, of these settings are low first and second let's go to the effect and add ambient occlusion and um, I guess that's it let's uh, actually render this up place it uh, it should take uh, some time to render on this computer so uh, I'm gonna be pausing this video and be right back so this is how it should look like after rendering uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, maybe if it's too dark you can mess around with it on filters and just uh, increase the brightness the contrast the exposure maybe or gamma or whatever you can mess around with these settings uh, I'm not gonna use them uh, if you don't wanna just uh, if I want to retouch the well I'm, I'm j I just use Photoshop uh, but uh, I guess that's all for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it see you on uh, another tutorial make sure you subscribe and like this video and um, thanks for watching peace